close to the sun. So we are going to be jumping straight back into this. I apologize for the last video cutting off abruptly at the end. My power went out for a hot minute, honestly. Like, it was... It, it was a while. <laughs> That's the only reason, um... The only reason I didn't, you know, stitch this onto the... That video, that way you know it can continue without a cutoff, was because I'm still getting used to editing and am terrible at it. So here we are. But yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, everything looks like it's up and running, maybe. Give me just a second and we will find that out. Yeah, alright, looks like everything's up and running, so here we go. Let's jump straight into this. I do still apologize for the fan in the background. Now, as I've said before, the um, the heat is just really bad right now. So, the Flowers of Persephone, Chapter Eight. It should just start us off where we last left off at. Ada once yeah, warned me yeah, about the stubbornness here. of her sister. As always, I should have listened. I did not foresee you being able to journey halfway across the Helios, even despite my own efforts to prevent it. And because of that failure, m my failure, Ada is lost to us. Aubrey opened doors that has allowed the contamination to spread. He is currently on his way to the tower, where he will attempt to use your sister's research to close the rift. But I fear that he will be unable to grasp the immensity of Ada's work, and thus make a bad situation much worse. I am therefore on my way to do what I can to fix this, and in the process, reclaim Ada's research. I would tell you to stay where you are, in a relative safety and rest, but I am fairly sure that won't happen. Damn right. We may be too late to save Ada's life, but we are not too late to save her legacy. I will be in touch. I mean, again though, we aren't too late to save her life. We have time travel. We know the existence of time travel because I sent a letter back I to myself. Ada I'd get her research, and I did. I promised Aubrey to get him out, and I did. Now, what has all that work given me? A broken rib and a concussion. At least I promised Aubrey I'd kill him. So let's see how that goes. Oh no. That's... that's the surgery room. What? She's gone. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix this. Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. I thought that was dynamite. I was like, she had explosives in here the whole time. And this should be where we see the figure of us taking her away. Wait. Is that... Is that me? Is me carrying Ada, but how can that be? Okay, so this is where we cut off in the last episode. Past, present, and future all part of the same fabric. It just needs to restitch it. How can I have been here in the past? I didn't board the hero without knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. Also, holy shit, this is beautiful. Oh god. You see that there is nothing to fear. You always try to protect me, my big sister. But this was meant to be.
I'll be back for you. It's going to work, Ada. I promise. You're right, Ada. Yep, she's dead as hell. Any sense right now? What were those flashes? Past, present, or future? And when did I carry it's not the here? fucking present, so obviously. Questions. Still, I will keep my promise. I will get your research back. Hopefully, they hold the answers. Rose, how are your wounds? I'm afraid I'm not much of a doctor, but I did what I could to mend. I'm fine. If this is some weak attempt at keeping me from reclaiming Ada's research, then think again. On the contrary, I'm counting on your assistance. In fact, so is Ada. What do you mean Ada is counting on me? Ada is gone. Ada is dead. But she isn't gone. Her research into multiple time dimensions and exposure to the rift has changed things. Irreversibly so. She has triggered an event cascade that even I am trying to fully comprehend. But her research holds the keys to everything. So she said. Just help me get those notebooks back. That I shall. We will coordinate on how to best deal with Aubrey once you reach the tower. Tesla out. Or really says Tesla out. Sorry guys, my dog just like decided to knock over my bag of chips that I had sitting next to me. So what? I'm assuming this is like obviously like the agricultural wing of this place. Honestly, there's not bodies. Oh, am I gonna have to fight plant monsters? I swear to God. If I have to fight some giant like fucking plant dragon, I'm gonna be highly upset. Plant defiance? What do you mean, plant defiance? Of course there's a box in the way. There's always a fucking box in the way. Try this staircase. So we can't step over boxes. electricity from plants? I mean, is that just biofuel? The generator is rigged to keep emergency doors open for a short time for the lever and run. Break the quarantine. Break the quarantine. Finally, someone with sense. So, hit the lever, turn on the generator, run to the door. I think I can do that. Project create resonance with brain synapses and promote clear thinking. Monsters. I 
eventually. Okay. Let's see if I can find that rail station to take me to the tower. So where's Feature Me at right now? The one that took Ada to the um, tree. Still have to be here somewhere. Oh hell. Must be Ludwig chasing me. Oh, almost there. The station that looked like me and ahead. maybe it was Ludwig. Yeah, that's me. Continue onwards. We reward the rail system. Break the quarantine. I'm gonna. I imagine you're all dead. I still think Ludwig's here somewhere. Maybe that's not Ludwig and chasing me, maybe that's just people running and meeting. Okay, looks, looks like, like a few made it out. Good on you, people from the past. They're definitely not alive. Pull the switch to call the rail car and evacuate. Yeah, where would they even have gone to? We've made it clear, I'm pretty sure, that there's no safe place on the Helios. If there were survivors, I'm pretty sure Nicola would have been like, hey, you know, go, oh, they're all dead in that room, aren't they? Oh. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I think these are reports. <laughs> Basically, I thought those were like bodies. Crisis averted. Last time we rode one of these, it did not end well. Completed chapter 8 already. Okay. Exotic energy is leaking everywhere. 
everywhere. We need to get up there before it's too late. Go through the base entrance towards the tower. Continue up until you find a large equipment elevator. Use it to the top of the tower and stop Aubrey! like whole thing like no one would understand this research or am I am I not because like I know we can't use it we are far too stupid to use them back there, but now here's three. They lost one. Oh! Well, bye, there goes the other two. They really just ditched their friend, huh? Tesla Tower. I mean that thing that's radiating blue energy. It's the only tower like object. There's so many ways we can go here. I'm going this way. Never mind, I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. That way looks too obvious. What's this way? This way's dead and I was hoping for exploring, okay. So is that Tesla Tower? That doesn't look like a tower, though. That just looks like a water tower. Like, if something's called, like, something tower, I should- I expect it to be a tower. Like, if you come over to me and be like, yeah, no, this is, like, the- the Vesper Tower, and it's, like, a square, um, and it's, like, a square with, like, a triangle on top, I, I don't know. Or just like a triangle in general, just a triangle building. So I'm guessing those are their bodies. Is everybody dead? Honestly, like scientist Ada was. Oh, don't you worry, Rosie. I don't need to be her equal to reclaim the spot she stole from me. All I need is a bit more time and a little less interruption from the relatives of dead people. God, Aubrey, I want to like you so bad, but also fuck you. I 
do I get around these doors? Crawled through a vent in a while. Why is everything here so dirty? Like, God, get some people to clean up. Like, I know the ship's, like, you know, being destroyed right now and there are monsters everywhere, but, like, come on. Janitors still have a job to do. Go get Benny. Yeah, Tesla really did just kind of. Well, I guess he did build the Helios. I mean, like. Blueprints, Tesla Tower, healing the intentional function of the Tesla Decide to finish the game up in this episode, honestly. I feel like we're getting to the end. <sighs> I'm just gonna do it. Chapter 10. Follow the Icarus. Let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna finish it up in this episode. Aubrey. We have unfinished. Revenge Where must wait. Go? I need you to fix the starboard power set. To your left. Hurry! What do you mean starboard power circuits? Fix the paradox. Okay, that, that's great. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a journalist. What do you want from me? I'm here. What do I do? You need to reset the magnetic oscillation. Ugh! Never mind. Just make all lights go red before pulling the auxiliary power switch. All lights red. Now where is that power switch? Don't be 
Cruz, I need you down here. Now! Stairs on the right side. Go!
access the hidden elevator, it will take you down to my evacuation sub. Go! There's another one. Oh my god, guys, we're active. I feel like we're actually about to Spin globe? Take hidden elevator. I bet it's never that easy. this <gasps> there's the fucking temple oh my god i knew it i fucking knew it time travel bitch Evidently, I did not go the right way. <laughs> Climatic, but I'll take it. So, most 
so this place looks like it's on fire. I keep seeing- oh, there's a bird! Ah! It's this one! I don't see a globe. Oh, that thing. Yeah, that's probably it. I should have looked for letters. That's my bad, guys. You suddenly and without warning. For that and so much to come, I apologize. I shouldn't have fucking... Damn it, can I go back up? Can I go back up? Fuck. That's my ticket out of here. Let's go. This play, and then I'm actually no. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna talk now. It Fuck it. What Something was this game? The consequences I loved every second of it, but oh my I god, I called that fucking. So I there are so, so many things I don't understand, like how future us got back on the boat to talk to past us. I mean, I'm assuming. That us uh, got out, took the research to Tesla, admitted time travel or whatever, what then went back, but we still didn't save our sister at that point. You done? What's in the darkest water? Because that would mean that we already did this before, I'm unless she did it at a different time. Then we went back in time and got it out of here alive. Makes no sense. Also, <laughs> Tesla, my boy, do you have teleportation? This game, guys, is amazing, and I really hope that they do make a sequel eventually, because, oh my god, it was so good. And I'm so glad we stuck through and just decided to finish it tonight. Like, everyone who worked on this game, you guys Feeling did an amazing job. The puzzles were amazing, the story was the amazing. Some of the chase scenes got a little bit annoying, but that's okay, honestly. 
I don't understand. Yeah, I'm gonna let the uh, credits finish out, and uh, we'll talk danger, after, guys. The static and the sparks can hold. to the sun. Alright guys, that, that was it. Um, I love games that do that, by the way, who thank the player for playing. It is one of my favorite things in the world to see a thank you for playing at the end of the credits. The music, by the way, amazing. I'm definitely downloading that onto my playlist. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was an amazing game, guys. Um, I imagine we could probably continue. We can't continue. It's just a straight new game. I did not do all of the items. I wish I had, but... I definitely missed some things in his office. I wasn't thinking about spinning the globe and it immediately taking me away. I was just focused on the version. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game was amazing, guys. And if you have Game Pass, you should definitely go play it for yourself. Um, let me know if you guys want me to play more games like this. Because I, like I said, I loved every second of it. It reminded me a lot of Outlast, honestly. Um, in a lot of ways. But yeah, uh, that was Close to the Sun, guys. Um, final episode. Yeah. So we finished it. Uh, it was a banger and definitely worth it. So thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Because, God, it was an emotional ride. It was a fun ride. And if you guys like to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. You know, it helps support the channel. Tell all your friends and family. You know, force them to watch me. If you have to, duct tape them to a chair. Um... I'm just kidding. Please, please don't, please don't do that. Unless you, you know, unless you want to. I'm just talking. Don't actually do that, please. Don't, don't, don't do that. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, everyone hit that like button, button, subscribe button, guys. You know, let's make it to a thousand subs this year. We're already almost at forty, and that's a big number for me still. <laughs> but um, again, thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. And as always, I will see all of you in the next one. See you around, everybody.